All right, everybody, what's up? I'm Jacques Slade, and today we're gonna help you set up your new JBL wireless device by pairing it with your audio player via a Bluetooth connection. The benefit of a wireless connection is that it allows you the freedom of movement to be able to position your device where you want without having to be tethered by wires. All right, let's get started by explaining what exactly happens when you pair your devices. Bluetooth is a wireless technology that shares data over a short distance through radio frequencies. When you turn on your JBL speaker's Bluetooth pairing mode, search for the Bluetooth symbol that looks like this, press or press and hold it determined by the model until it begins flashing or making a sound. Once that happens, your speaker will be in pairing mode and search for a device to pair with. In this example, we will be pairing your JBL speaker with your phone, but the same principle applies to your laptop or tablet. Once you are in pairing mode, go to your device's Bluetooth settings, search for your speaker's name to appear on the screen and tap on it. It will take a few seconds, but once you hear a sound on your speaker and a check mark or notification on your phone, your device will be paired. You will now hear audio that plays on your device through your speaker. Keep in mind that when you place your speaker in pairing mode, you have 10 to 30 seconds to start the process before it exits pairing mode, indicated by either the light no longer flashing or the pop-up sound fading out. If you don't pair in time, fear not, you can simply start the process over. Now that a connection is established, your paired devices will remember each other and you won't have to go through the pairing process each time. But as you go about your day and move around, you may lose the connection between the two devices at some point. That could be because the two devices are far apart or you go to your phone's Bluetooth settings and tap the speaker's name to disconnect. When you want to reestablish the connection, most JBL devices will automatically connect once they are in proximity of the device. In other cases, you may have to go to your phone's Bluetooth settings and select the speaker again. If you're having problems establishing the Bluetooth connection with your devices, here are a few things you might want to consider for trouble shooting. One, turn off and restart both the speaker and your phone, tablet, or laptop. Check if the devices are compatible with one another. Confirm the speaker is not connected to another device. If you have established a connection previously and are now having problems connecting the devices, go to your phone's Bluetooth settings, select your speaker, and manually disconnect or forget the speaker. Doing so will unpair the speaker's information from your phone and will allow you to repair them again. Sometimes these steps do not work and may require a reset of your JBL device. Go to support.jbl.com and type in reset guide in the search box. You will see an option to select a reset guide. Click on the name. Simply follow the on-screen instructions and select your JBL device to find the reset procedure. Once you have reset your device, all Bluetooth information is deleted and you need to reestablish a Bluetooth pairing connection again by following the tips at the start of this video. Okay. Hopefully we have given you a roadmap to connecting your JBL speaker to your Bluetooth compatible devices. I'm Jacques Slade and I'll see you next time.